Demonstrated the maturity. They already demonstrated that they are not like the protesters on the road that are just risk-ins. And above all, you have demonstrated the passion and the commitment for moving the nation forward. Yes, sir. You are not fighting for yourself. You are not fighting for your personal advertisements. You are fighting for just society. So Anybody that lives his own personal world and fight for others, God will definitely fight for him. God will fight for you. I appreciate that. So all what I've said, I've had everything. One thing I have to debunk is this. No 10 protesters were killed. No single protester. Since they started this one now, no single one has started to be corrected. None. Okay, this we have videos, sir. Yeah, yeah. We have live videos of what happened yesterday. As soon as they were. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, this protest started precisely Wednesday last week when I first accepted to address. Then from there now, on Thursday, to address another set of people at the government house. We are there until 5 a.m., I don't know, 3 a.m. in the morning on Friday. So now on Saturday too, so Sonaibo came up, that was going to extend it to the island. So where they went now, on that Friday, the speaker of the House Assembly, around where him addressed them there. So all this while, they have not had the LAT bloody. So yesterday was what we had it since they started the Lagos. All the provocations, all the we realize that everybody has the right to protest. And they have been doing it peacefully. And rather than even we confronting them now, we have been providing them with security. But something went wrong yesterday. We be treated by the Mexicans, whose criminal intention was to go and liberate the suspect we have, the kidnapping suspect, and four of them were liberated. You know where that police station is? That office of the kidnapper. It not, was not on the main road at all. So actually watch that. It was far away from the main road, even from the rear cell cut almost a kilometer of that place. So now, a stray bullet yesterday hit a driver whose owner was inside the vehicle. Yeah. The man came out, the driver, and went to, to see what happened, what caused the traffic by this time of the day at this period. That was the first that stray bullet hit. And one of my police inspectors. So we lost the police inspector, we lost the civilian, so was there even part of the protesters. So there's no single protester in Lagos that was killed. As far as the None. If you have some in incidents, some in the right time name, there is none. That somebody was killed as Suru No, I said someone was killed. I've, I've said that. The person that was killed as Suru Lele was a driver. A driver killed in Suru Lele. Stray bullets was not. The owner of the vehicle was in the car with him. Because of the traffic now, the man got up to find out what caused the traffic at this time of the day. He got to left his vehicle. The owner of the vehicle is alive. The driver, the owner of the vehicle, who is the master of this man that was. So I was never a protester, not part of them at all. I was never in the protest. So no single protester was killed since they started it in Lagos. I stand to be corrected because I've been on it physically. I've never left Lagos for anywhere and I've always been on the ground. No single protester. There have been so many installations. There are so many people come yesterday. That you turn it to CNN, that you say they killed eight people. No single protester. The people were arrested yesterday, five of them were arrested yesterday, and instantly now there was a security council meeting. The governor, including the Speaker of the House of Representatives, now by the to then into it, and the governor gave directive, and instantly they were all released. They were all released. So I waited while the security meeting was going on now, I gave the directive now, and before you conclude this, they were released. And everything went on the media too. And the media that they have all been released. We saw a video where the now said that maybe one lady was being harassed there. And that one now, the people that are harassed there now, they have been arrested now, they are detained. I don't tolerate the discipline. Because I brought the video out now, I zoomed it with the governor. We saw it. They are right inside the cell here now. Thank and they are trying to. 
I don't know do that. So if there's any act of brutality coming in, so just let us know. We we'll take action. Yeah, I have yeah. records of what I've been doing now to the civil police officers. As for the directors of the general police for the disbandment now, they have been disbanded now. If you come here now, you see them in uniform like this. Now, if you come out there, you see them now. They've all been disbanded. All their arms have been collected. The cases they are handling and resources now have been transferred to the state CID party for continuous consideration of the investigation. All these ones are done now in compliance with the general director. Any police officer found on the street of Lagos, so carrying carry that long arm, not from Lagos to police commissioner office. You should understand that in Lagos, we have so many police formations. So in Lagos, but everything is on. We have the, for example, now, special fraud units. Traditionally, they are not to carry arm. Not like the MCC, they are monks. You call it, you have the four CID personnel in Lagos. You have them that are there now. They are not to carry arm. So they are not to be on uniform. So not all police. We have those people now are there at the state CID now. They are not carrying uniform. They are not to put on uniform. So all these are specialized part of the police investigation team that are not. But the one that IG has disbanded now, they have been disbanded. From that day now, you go to the offices. Go to Smule now, so go to Bagada, so go to First Tank, where the officers are, they are under lock and key. We only posted two policemen there now to guard the places. They are no more functioning. They are no more that much I will uh, give you. Now the issue of the bail. Bail has always been free. But it is not free, sir. No, 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 Bail has been and shall continue to be. The one thing is this. One thing is this. We are all learned. When you file a motion in court, you follow it up. When there's a day given, you appear there. When you are arguing your case is there now, so you appear, you bring evidences. You have some people now to come and give evidence. In addition to any written or physical evidence, you have to bring that case. People whose rights have been trampled upon, we have been seeing it time with that number. If it's not brought to our knowledge, there's nothing actually we can take. One. Secondly, once brought to our knowledge, there must be a follow-up to let us know. You have to clear a road, spend the, you have had the power says that spend one day to clear the road, spend play all, a lot of this now to pass that road. So when the case is reported and people are not following the case, definitely for want of evidence, for all diligent persecution now, all the sources will be released. Because the judge of presiding magistrates can only advocate based on evidences made available to him or her. So if something happens now and is not brought to our knowledge, you can only accuse the authority of the police now when something happens now is brought. There are many people who no, have reported to police. If they lie, let them there. I can't go there. They say, come today, come tomorrow, come today, come tomorrow. There are three places I want us to know that you don't go there and hurry out. One, you don't go to the hospital and say the time when you're going to leave the place. Because they are Kobe, give all this injection, let us see the action. Give this table, let us see the action. You don't determine how many time, how many minutes you spent in hospital. You don't determine how many minutes you spent in the law court. Because you don't know the evidences to be adduced. You don't know the argument or counter argument that are going to come up. You don't determine. You don't determine when you get to the station when the case should be determined. Because the investigations need to be. All the links have to be followed. All this area now, when people report case, they don't follow up. When our police officers misbehave now, they don't let we as officers to know. But once you know, definitely action will be taken. And once you know an action is not taken, we are liable to so be so uh, to be condemned along with them and action taken against us. We have because liability in the law. So in our rules of engagement that we can use administrative funds. So please, I'm mean, appealing to members of the public through this media, through this channel, that once there's any infraction, contrary to our laid down procedures, they please let us know. You can be anonymous and let us know. Just give the particulars of the officers now. And after that one now, after 48 hours, call again what is the position of my case or my report. Once that one is not done, once the petition is written, and the person is not coming to follow that police station at the end of the day, so it may not see the light of the day. And what's happening now, you blame the police. Those are the things that we need to let us understand of all that procedure.
So there's none brought to our knowledge that action has not been taken. The sustainable police directive has been complied with. I will sit down the road and definitely not for masses, not for anti kidnapping. Yesterday, incident happened that four kidnapping suspects were liberated. They kidnapped a white man. We went as far as on those things now to arrest them. So, definitely, the people that came yesterday were their members who had the session of who just cash in on that one now to create. So when I heard all things that happened now, I said, these are not protesters. So doing to arrest them. I reported by them directly straight to the government. I gave direction and released them. No, no, nobody arrested yesterday, slept in police custody. You are all released. And everything went to social media. That is the justice that you are seeking for. That is the justice that you are giving out. The, you're talking about panel inquiry. Yesterday, if you listen to what the governor said, if you listen to what the IGP said to the general police, so on Sunday, when I said that every infraction, every act done by any police officer will be, and that's what could have been said by the president. So, as for compensation, the governor even declared it yesterday, even this morning. Yesterday, the governor rolled out the names of those who are the victims of police brutality. They have some names with him. And he made a declaration that they are going to be compensated. The IGP have said that a quarry will be set up, even from the green light, as quarry be said. All what he just appealed is that when these things start happening and unfolding, let people not say, government want to waste their time. Create the time to come, give evidence that you have. And any report of such incident that is not known to us, please call forward, let us know. Everything will be documented.